I made the new Daredevil helmet from Marvel's Disney Plus series, She-Hulk, and I'm going to show you guys how you can make your very own. I would like to thank today's sponsor, Card Mafia, for sending me these seriously cool Marvel themed playing cards. And I will be giving away three decks no matter where you live in the world, so make sure you watch the entire video to see how you can win. Back to Daredevil. If you didn't already know, Daredevil will be making an appearance in She-Hulk. It's not really a spoiler since Marvel literally showed it in the trailer themselves, so don't blame me. Now as you can see, I'm going with the yellow goldish tint as opposed to the red, but you guys can paint it whatever color you want. So first step to this build, we need to buy some foam. So I am here at Hobby Lobby, which is where I typically buy most of the foam that I use to build helmets. This is the entire foam section. And for helmets, I typically like to use white or black. I don't know if you can see that, the five millimeter foam. And these sheets are about $1.50 per piece, which really isn't that bad. So I think I have what I need. I have all the paint I need at home. So let's get the build going. So whenever I build helmets, usually the first part that I build is kind of the nose and the eyepiece, because that really sets kind of the size of the helmet. And if you make that too big, the rest of the helmet will be too big. Let's get started. So here I am just sketching out the nose piece on a piece of that five millimeter foam. And as you can see, I'm cutting this out at an angle and the template will show what angles you need to cut at. And once you pop that out, you should have a piece that looks like this. Just do a quick little test fit. And I think that actually fits perfectly. Now that I have the nose piece, I can start building everything around this. It should fit my head, so let's keep going. You'll notice that when you bend the nose piece, you'll have a round edge like this. So what I do is I flip it over and I kind of score out these small slits on the back side. And once you have those cut, you can kind of peel out those pieces and we're going to add some super glue inside of there. And once you fold it, you should have two sharper edges on the front side that look like this. So that is the final nose piece, and now I can start building the eyes around it. And for those of you that think I do all of this in one try, that one nose piece took me three attempts. This is definitely not a one-time thing for me. It's a lot of trial and error, but you guys don't have to worry about that because the template is in the description below. So on to the eyes. So now I'm just gonna play around with kind of that eyebrow piece. And after I sketch that out, it comes out to look like this. So I just cut that out with my X-Acto knife. And I'm using some of this Weldwood contact cement to put all the foam together. So you want to connect that eyebrow piece to the nose and you should end up with a piece like this. And now we're going to put on kind of these cheek pieces. And again, just using more contact cement to attach those. And once you have contact cement on both edges, you can just stick them together. And now you connect that eyebrow to that cheek piece on both sides. And here's what it looks like. So here is the main part of the, the face and I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. Pretty much the hardest part now is gonna be doing the rest of the helmet and getting the full top piece and the two kind of side pieces Keep watching. So now we can cut out the sides of the helmet, which are just these big panels right here. And once you cut that out, you can heat it up with a heat gun a little bit, which will help heat seal it. And it'll also warm it up because we are gonna be adding kind of a curvature shape to it using this cup that I have. And as you can see, you have a nice curved shape like that. And basically we're just gonna glue that to the sides of that face piece. And you should have a nice, very simple and easy seam like this. So I've talked about it on this channel before, but if you guys do a lot of foam work and you're trying to get pieces round like this, having a tool like this is extremely helpful. This is literally a cup from the dollar store, but anything that has a round top that you can kind of press your foam around and get a nice shape. So get yourself a $1 cup from Dollar Tree. So now the forehead piece is gonna look like this and we are also gonna add a bit of curvature to that. And once you glue that into place using the contact cement, you should have something that looks like this. And now we're gonna work on cutting out pieces for kind of the top and the back of the helmet. And here I'm just doing some test fitting, but I ended up with these two pieces here, which are just a mirror image of each other. So again, we heat it up and we add some curvature to it. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to add some contact cement and kind of just glue those two pieces together right down the middle like this. And then we're going to glue it into place on the helmet and attach it to the sides. And the main structure of your helmet is done. We have made some really good progress up to this point, and I'd say the helmet at this point is probably 80% done, and this fits me pretty nicely, I'd say. And we're almost there. Stick with it, and let's finish it off. Now I forgot to show it, but you first want to glue in these two triangular pieces to the sides of the helmet like that. Then you're going to take this next upper piece, and we're going to glue it into place at the top of that horn. Just like that. And basically, we're going to use these last pieces here, and you're going to put the straight edge along the side of that horn, and then the rest of it is going to kind of curl around the bottom and glue to that top piece. So once you have a complete horn, it should look like this. And honestly, this is the trickiest part of the helmet, so just be patient and don't rush through it. Okay, so I added the horns to the mask. I am not 100% satisfied with them. First off, I think they're like slightly too big, maybe. And second, I think they kind of, they come out a little too much, which should be a little bit more parallel and kind of straight. I don't think it's bad, I just think it's not 100% perfect, but I'm happy with it. And as you can see, the helmet fits well. I think it might pop out a little too much here, but I, I might be able to fix that by just adding some foam in the back to kind of pull it pull it tighter to my face. Let's keep chugging along. So I just sketched in these details with a pen and I was using Do3D's models as reference, so big shout out to Do3D. Once those lines were sketched out, I take an X-Acto knife and I score the lines, making sure not to cut all the way through. Here, however, I do cut all the way through and as you can see, this adds a nice little detail to the helmet because once you cut through, you can kind of push that part halfway through the helmet and glue that in place and you have a nice little detail there. So now I'm just taking a heat gun and I'm heating up all of those detail lines that I scored, which will open them up. And now I just take this 2mm foam and I'm going to glue it behind the eyes for that nice second layer. Okay, so now I have added that second layer to the eyes, and honestly, I think that makes it look more like Daredevil than anything else, even more than the horns. The foam work for this helmet is 100% done, and now it is on to painting. So I am just starting off by adding a couple layers of Plastidip as a sealer and a primer. And again, I used about two layers for this. And here's what it looks like after the Plastidip. And honestly, I almost wanted to keep it this way because it looked so sleek. Okay, now before we finish the helmet build, let's talk about this Card Mafia giveaway. So these playing cards are hands down the coolest cards I've ever played with. And not only do you get a set of playing cards, but you also get an amazing case. Look at this Spider-Man No Way Home case. When you open it, and wait, wait, one more. I mean, guys, come on. And the cards sit right inside here. And the cards themselves feel super high quality. They have incredible artwork and different characters, and it just makes it that much more fun to play with. So like I said, I am giving away three different decks. One Spider-Man deck, one Iron Man Mark I deck, which also, this also lights up. I mean, guys, look at that. And one Thor deck shown here. All you need to do to enter this giveaway is one, subscribe to this channel, and two, leave a comment down below, any comment. And on September 30, I will pick three winners, and if you win, I'll reply to your comment and we'll be in contact. That's it. But if you don't win the giveaway or just want to buy a deck right now, use the link in the description below and buy any Card Mafia deck you want. And they have some pretty awesome choices. So thanks again to Card Mafia, and now let's finish the Daredevil helmet. So I started off by brushing on some layers of yellow acrylic paint, but that really wasn't even and didn't look good. So I switched over to this spray paint here, which is just some gloss golden sunset and a metallic gold. So basically, I just sprayed the entire thing with a gold metallic, or metallic gold, I should say. And once that was done, I put on a light coat of that golden sunset. And here you end up with the kind of this yellowish, goldish color. Okay, so now painting is finished. Let's put her on. And it still fits me very nicely. Um, oh, this looks really good. And now we're gonna finish this thing off with some of the black accent details inside of those lines that we scored.
So I started using the foam brush and I found out it was incredibly difficult to control. So I'm just gonna use a black Sharpie to draw in all the lines and it should be 10 times easier. So all of the black accent lines are now complete. And now the final step, the final, final, absolute final step is to put this red plastic, and as you can see it is see-through, right behind the eyes, just like this. And you can find a red see-through plastic like this on Amazon, or in the past I've used those plastic binder dividers. This actually came from a really old board game that we have, and I'm not telling my siblings that I'm using it because they're gonna yell at me. Here I'm just putting in some hot glue around the eyes, and then I glue in that red plastic into place, and you end up with a daredevil helmet like this. Honestly, I feel like this is one of my easiest foam builds, and I absolutely cannot wait to see you guys try it out for yourself. If you do build it, feel free to tag me on Instagram and TikTok, at Propway, and I would love to repost and share your work. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It really, really helps out my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.